one day a person came to me while I was a soldier. I remember it was the mechanic in the in the garage in the in the car shop. I had a I had an old Jeep of the Jeep company, an old one. I was I was riding it, driving it, and uh, with an open roof and everything, a red one, my red dragon, I called it. And I I went one day to the to to the mechanic to fix a few things. That's the hobby of uh, of Jeep drivers to go to the mechanics. <laughs> you cannot avoid that. You must like it. <laughs> you must like it, or or you're gonna sell your Jeep. It's uh, or you're gonna like it, or you're gonna sell your Jeep. I sold my Jeep. <laughs> I, so. Uh, you know what I bought? I bought an Alfa Romeo, also a red one. <laughs> That's nice. That's a very good car. Alfa Romeo is a very nice car. You see, everyone got his own scars, red scars. So I went to that mechanic and he told me, do you think that it, maybe one day you're going to do tshuva? You're going you're gonna to be religious? So I told him, maybe. So he told me, at least you're not a liar. So I told him, why are you saying that? So he said, because it's obvious you're going to do tshuva. I, I, I wasn't really asking. I just wanted to hear what you're going to say about it. It's obvious you're, you're on the way. It's, I saw too many people that went in that way. So I know, it's obvious. But I wanted to hear you, if you're aware to it, if you or that you're denying. And when you say maybe, so at least it was the truth. Because really, when I start sensing the Creator, felt like there is a hidden hand that's running the business here, some private personal supervision, things are going weird, out of my control, and I felt like there is an aiming hand, like there is some wisdom in, in, in all of those accidents, in all of those coincidences. I just started to feel that, so I didn't want it to leave it. I didn't want it to ignore it. I wanted to bring it into my life. And even though that to be a religious person, it was the worst thing for me. And I told you that. One time I went into a, to a rabbit's inn. A friend of mine told me, let's go to a rabbit's inn, a very holy, a very known woman. We went to her house and she told me, do you know that in one year and a half you're going to be religious? You're going to be the Haredi, Dati? And I looked at her like that, and I was 100%. I, lo I, I, I had a piece of, of business cards that was on her table. All of them fell on the floor, and I, I lost my mind. And I told her, what do you mean, religious? What, what, what are you, what, 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 what? Say what? Say that again? And she said, yes, I mean that you're going to be religious, that you're going to be Haredi with black jacket and a white shirt and black pants and a beard and a kippah. And I, st I told her, please, please, please don't. <laughs> I don't want and, and, and I knew she's saying the truth. I knew it. It was the truth that, that went out from her mouth. I, I, it, it was very painful for me. I didn't want it, that truth, but it was the truth. And I went back home and I started crying. Mm -hmm. I was sitting alone in my room and crying to Hashem Barach. And I told him, please don't do that to me. <laughs> I was crying to him. I told him, why, why are you taking me to that hard journey? Why? I don't want that. It's too hard. <coughs> to go and tell your family that that's a change that you're about to make. I told you that so many times. My family reacted so hard. They attacked me. They slaughtered me alive. And I continue. And I haven't backed off. I didn't give up. Because I knew that that was the truth. So if a person really wants to connect himself to the, to the Creator, to the truth, he needs to connect himself to the truth. To become religious will not going to give you the answer to your question. To your questions. To become religious, to become frum, to, to become Haredi, to change your outfit, to, ch to, to, to grow your beard, to cover your head. It's not going to answer your inner questions. It's not going to break your doubts. It's not going to cancel your fears, your anxieties. 
It will not going to give you the power to be who that you are. 